Here is the result of what I'm looking to achieve in this video. This is an Orange Pi 5 and there's a program running on it where I can type whatever I want, test, and it transfers via UART over to my phone. Okay, so what's happening is it's sending characters through here, one of the serial ports, through this cable. This has an FTDI chip in it at the end of the cable, and then this is going to a USB OTG adapter to the phone. And this is in the serial USB app. So I'll put all the links in the description and everything you'll need. Before you attempt this, make sure you installed uh, an operating system and you're all ready to go here for the Pi, um, the Orange Pi 5. There's a few different operatings you can install. Uh, this uses the like official image, but you can also use the Ubuntu image. And uh, either way it should be supported here. Um, once you do that, then the most important link is here. This is the manual for the Pi 5. So what you want to do here is uh, use your editor. You can use Vim or Nano. And, yeah, open up the, the uh, this file here. Default password you use sudo is orangepi5, all under case one word, and then open up the UART ports. So, open it up, enter the password, and then this is where you enter this line here, and then save and exit. Control S, Control X. After you change that, then it's time to reboot. Pseudo reboot. After the reboot, open up your terminal. Type this line here. You'll see all the different serial ports that are now now available. Before the the uh, change to the file that we made these were not available here these four but now they are so now we can start to use and test the serial ports uh, I'm gonna start with S1 here it's also laid out here but it's kinda of difficult to read so this here says you are one you can locate which side we're on kinda of by, by this this helps identify where you are on the board this is a three pin header. This, this here is also a decent diagram. This is showing UART 1. This is the RX here. Then go down one, that's the TX, and then go down two, and we have ground. So here we go. And notice the orange is the TX on the FTDI cable, and that goes to the RX. Now on page 20 of the manual, I tried this loopback here with the GPIO command, but uh, that wasn't working. I'm probably just not setting that all up correctly. So instead, I did something different. What I have here is a... C++ program and I had to change this to TTY whatever serial port you want to use just change this so this is S1 we're going to use S1 then to compile it use this line here and then enter oh well that's because I'm not in the desktop yeah, I have to compile it. All right, let's try that again. 
There we go. And then let's run it. And now we just type whatever we want into here. I'm going to get the phone ready. USB terminal app. I already set the baud rate correctly to 115.200. I'm going to connect. Alright, we're connected. And now, I type whatever I want. Hello. And there's hello. Hello there. And there we go. We're sending data from the Pi over serial. I was playing around with this uh, loopback but couldn't get it to work. But anyway, yeah, sending data and uh, there you have it. Thank you for watching. It shows that you can send data from the, the Orange Pi 5. There's actually four serial ports here in this 26 pin header. And uh, it's possible to talk to other devices such as, you know, a phone or a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino or any kind of uh, serial device. I think it uses 3.3 volt uh, TTL logic. All right, well, thanks again for watching. And uh, if this is useful, uh, give me a thumbs up or something. Take care.